phenomenal. What, 6'3", 210, 215, have a nice arm. Throwing the football, mechanics are flawless. I think this cat Stroud's got a lot of potential, and he seems to have the kind of attitude that you'd want your quarterback to have. Me, I like Bryce Young. When you evaluate Young, what do you see that makes him special? David, the way he sees the field is phenomenal. Bryce Young, obviously the point guard distributing the football. I think he has the skill set required to play the position at a high level. And as a player on the field, I think he has all the skills that you need. With the first pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Bryce Young. And there it is. He was one of the highest ranked high school prospects in a very long time. The second pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Houston Texans select C.J. Stroud, quarterback for Ohio State. C.J. Stroud's transition to the Houston Texans prompted two significant questions. Can he defy the trend of Ohio State quarterbacks struggling in the NFL? And will the Texans, a franchise often mocked in the league, provide Stroud with the support needed for success? C.J. Stroud concluded a stellar season at THE Ohio State, amassing 3,688 yards and 41 touchdowns. His outstanding performance earned him third place in Heisman voting. In the Peach Bowl against Georgia, Although the Buckeyes ultimately fell short, Stroud showcased his prowess by throwing for 348 yards and four touchdowns. This remarkable game marked his final appearance as the Ohio State quarterback. On the flip side, the Texans were navigating through a challenging period, having parted ways with their franchise quarterback, Deshaun Watson. In the quest for an offensive leader, they cycled through several quarterbacks between 2021 and 2022. Among them, Davis Mills emerged as the most consistent performer. While Mills was solid, it was apparent that he was not the long-term solution the Texans were truly seeking. In 2022, Houston would finish the year with a 3-13-1 record, where in the last game of the regular season, they actually won which resulted in them getting the second pick in the draft instead of the first. But in the end, that wouldn't really matter anyway because they obviously got CJ Stroud. The Texans also acquired the likes of Dalton Schultz, Devin Singletary, and Noah Brown, just to name a few of the players that gave Houston one of the best offseasons in the entire NFL. So with the new franchise quarterback and an array of new veteran additions on the offense and defense, the Texans were set to take on the 2023 season. The Houston Texans would open their 2023-2024 season by going to Baltimore to play Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. This was a brand new rookie against what would turn out to be one of the best defenses in the NFL. Stroud threw for 242 yards, but would be sacked five times, throw zero touchdowns, and fumble the ball once, resulting in a 25-9 loss. Not a very impressive stat line, but it was to be expected for a rookie QB's first ever start. Week 2 would feature the Texans hosting the Colts. CJ Stroud would be competing against another rookie quarterback on the other side of the field in Anthony Richardson. Stroud would throw for a hefty 384 yards and two touchdowns, but he would be sacked six times and fumble the ball twice. The Texans lost 31 to 20. The Texans' final game of September would be in Jacksonville against the Jaguars. Houston's special teams would step up big time and help propel the team to a 37 to 17 victory, their first of the year. Stroud threw for 280 yards, two touchdowns, no fumbles, and he wouldn't be sacked at all. Houston would begin October by hosting the Steelers in a game where Pittsburgh's offense was completely useless. The Texans' offense was not. CJ Stroud threw for 306 yards, two touchdowns, and no turnovers. And even though he was up against one of the best linebackers in the NFL in TJ Watt, he wasn't sacked at all. Houston won. 30 to 6. Week 5 would have the Texans go to Atlanta to take on the Falcons. The Texans offense just couldn't get out of their own way, which resulted in a 21 to 19 loss. The following week, the Saints would come to town and the Texans would send them packing with the final score of 20 to 13. CJ threw for 199 yards and two touchdowns. The final week of October would feature the Texans in Carolina. CJ would be going head to head with Bryce Young, the man who was drafted number 1 overall. Unfortunately, the drama would come to a halt there. The game was very boring and resulted in the Panthers getting their second and final win of the season. The final score was 15-13. to 13. 
At this point, the Texans were entering November with only three wins on the season. Sure, CJ Stroud had a few impressive performances up to this point, but when you have a losing record, those performances can't be that impressive. But November came around and CJ Stroud had found his way in the NFL. The Texans hosted the Bucks in week eight, and this game was a shootout. Stroud threw for 470 yards and five touchdowns. He hit three different receivers for over 100 yards each, with Tank Dell having 114 yards and two touchdowns. Houston would narrowly win 39-37 in one hell of a game. Stroud would follow that performance up with another excellent showing in Cincinnati. He put up 356 yards, ran for one touchdown, and threw for another. He did fumble the ball twice, but in the end, it wouldn't matter because the Texans won 30-27. to And this was while Joe Burrow was still healthy. The next week, the Texans took on the Cardinals and CJ Stroud threw for 304 yards, two touchdowns, and three picks. But regardless, they won their third game in a row, 21-16. to That winning streak would be snapped against the Jags when Houston lost 24-21. to Stroud actually had a very similar stat line to the Arizona game just add in a rushing touchdown. But November was huge for CJ Stroud and the Texans. They won three out of their four games and put themselves on the rest of the NFL's radar. December would be a roller coaster ride for the Texans. They started off by beating Denver, but then losing to the Jets, and more importantly, losing CJ Stroud due to injury. He would miss two games. Stroud would then return to beat down the Titans on the final day of the year. For the final game of the regular season, Houston was in an arms race with Jacksonville and Indianapolis to win the division and punch their ticket to the playoffs. This division was the Jags to lose, but they were unraveling as the season was coming to an end. So on January 6th, the year of our Lord, the Texans went to Indy and beat the Colts 23-19 while the Jags lost to the Titans, securing Houston a playoff spot for the first time in four years. Stroud threw for 264 yards, two touchdowns, and a passer rating of 134, his second highest of the entire season. CJ Stroud led the Texans to the playoffs in his first year in the NFL, but his reward was matching up against the Cleveland Browns in the first round. And they just happened to have the best defense in the entire NFL, allowing only 270 yards per game. I and many other people picked the Browns to go to Houston and upset the Texans. And we were wrong. The Texans showed out and beat the brakes off the Browns 45-14. to The story wasn't so much about CJ Stroud, but Houston's defense instead. Stroud only completed 16 passes for 274 yards. Yes, he did throw three touchdowns, but the defense held Cleveland to just 14 points and getting two pick sixes off Joe Flacco in the third quarter. Regardless, the Texans were on their way to the divisional round to face the Ravens. And this is where our story comes to an end. The first half was entertaining, but the second half was all about the Ravens. Baltimore's defense had no real issue containing CJ Stroud, holding him to 175 passing yards and no touchdowns. There was no real shame in this playoff loss. The Texans were playing with house money for almost the entire season. What they had really done was set the stage for the future, showing they now had their new franchise quarterback in CJ Stroud, a litany of weapons on offense, and a serviceable defense that will keep them in games. As of today, the Texans just traded for Joe Mixon, giving CJ Stroud a fantastic security blanket. The Jags no longer have an easy path to the AFC South title. CJ Stroud is not only in their way, but also the rest of the AFCs. What do you think about CJ Stroud ahead of the 2024 season? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe if you'd like to see new videos throughout the week in addition to our NFL and NBA podcast that we live stream right here on this YouTube channel every Wednesday night. If you want to join the AFR family, join our Discord. It's completely free and the link is in the description below. I'll see you boys around. Peace. Baby, Got the game on me.